the standard way of pre-training language models is that you pre-train a language model to imitate internet text. But we also know that internet text contains a lot of undesirable content, such as offensive content, low quality code, or person personally available information. And a standard approach to fixing this mismatch between uh, like how the objective actually incentivizes and what we actually expect from language model assistance such as chat GPT as a standard solution is as very fast learning from kind feedback which basically tries to fine-tune those undesirable behaviors away and through the paper we try to ask a question whether you can maybe make the pre-training objectives align from the very start such that you don't have to sort of fix those flaws at fine tuning time but you can just train the model from scratch to be aligned so the idea is that you assume access to some reward model that you can use to to annotate your training documents so, so that you not only have your training documents but you also have like some annotation of reward for them and we tried in the paper five methods that would use this scheme when you have access reward values for training data a middle one traditional training identified as the best and the idea here is embarrassingly simple, really. Uh, you prepend sentences in training documents with this, those special documents, good or bad, depending on uh, the value for a given sentence. For example, if a, a sentence is toxic, it would be prepended with a special document bad. And then at inference time, if you would like to generate a sample from a language model, you condition it on the, the good token and it tends to uh, complete that with something from the distribution of good, good sentences. And just to be like extra clear for people who like we use for GPT, it's kind of like starting your prompt with you are a good chatbot or you are a... Uh... Basically, basically. So this can be seen as a very compressed version of a longer prompt instructing the model will be good. And yeah, the, the example of the data that was uh, good or bad is, so I think you, you told me off the record it was uh, like good Python code or um, good quality like text on the internet. For example, yeah. So like we had three tasks with the paper, avoiding generating offensive content, avoiding leaking personally identifiable information from the routine data and generating Python code compliant with PyPyte, the style guide for Python. For Python, for example, good would mean that a given line does not violate PEP8, which is, of course, very important for existential safety. <laughs> um, so we try to evaluate those objectives in terms of the trade of between alignment and capabilities. And we kind of identified this conditional training method as a, a as the one giving the best trade-off. So this is those orange dots tends to be closest to the, the bottom left corner of scatterplot. And maybe one other important like thread in the paper is that we tried to compare find uh with equal feedback with something resembling more of a standard practice of aligning language models only during fine tuning. Uh, so here like the intuition for the experiment is that here it's how toxicity score of a language model decreases over training time. The blue line is the standard with training when you just train the language model to imitate whatever this in its training data. The orange line is our first method of retraining with control dockers, which like significantly decreases to alignment score. And then we ask a question, 
what happens if you wouldn't be doing this additional training thing from scratch, but if you only started from the middle of your pre-training data, or maybe only on the last 10% of the data. And the point is that it still leaves a significant gap uh, in the sense that it is much better to be using feedback from the very start. If you are starting late, you need to pay a price. And if you're starting even late, the gap even increases in size. So in some sense, it seems that it is much easier for the language model to learn good behavior from scratch, as opposed to first learning bad behavior during pre-training and then trying to unlearn it during fine-tuning. So how take if you want your AI to be aligned, try to teach the AI to be aligned from the start. As you're a kid, you don't want to teach your kid to be moral when they're like already adults. Thank you, Thomas. It's a great paper and uh, check it out. Thank you.